What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and this is my review of the SH Figure Arts Ultraman Kaiju Black King. All right, my zillions, back again with another Ultra Kaiju. Uh, we got Black King here. I, this was a web shop exclusive. Came out at the end of July. And I picked mine up uh, with the help of Zen Market, um, which I really recommend if you want to save some bucks on exclusives. They only charge 300 yen per item, and then the cost of the item and the shipping. Um, and that's it, guys. Uh, recommend it, zenmarket.jp. Um, I've picked up a few exclusives through them already, got more on the way. Uh, but this one uh, actually got to me a little bit late. No, I don't think any fault of theirs because I think I deleted an email that said that this figure was in. Um, it was actually sitting in my in their warehouse for nine days <laughs> before I realized that it was out. Um, yeah, my bad. Once I got the shipping going, it got here super ridiculously fast. So, um, maybe I missed an email, maybe maybe there was an email snafu on their part, I'm not sure. Either way, I still recommend it, it's still a great service, saves you money, all that jazz. Uh, and this looks pretty awesome, guys. Um, I'm not sure where it made its debut, I know he's fought Ultraman Jack, and I know it's been uh, in one of the more recent series, you know, and it's been around, I've known of Black King for quite a while. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's... It's a cool kaiju, love the color scheme, the black, the gold, really, really worked for me. And that's it, let's get this review going. So taking a look at Black King's articulation, you have the jaw hinge, and then you got a neck ball joint here, and then another one at his neck somewhere, probably the other end of the ball joint. Going down, you do have a few floating pieces here. It's very tight on my, very squeaky, but there you go. You can swivel it a little bit there. Um, the horn doesn't move or anything. The arms here uh, are on ball joints. Kind of moves almost like a bow to fly joint in there. Uh, I don't think it really is in the more technical terms of it. But it's pretty tight. Eh, actually, going backwards, it's really not, but going forwards a little bit more. Um, you can't rotate this piece, but this is just a floating piece. The elbow is double-jointed, covered here by that. Really nice, kind of like Monster Arts, you know, it's this is like, you know, taking the same cues uh, the SH Figure Arts do pretty much from there. Wrists are on ball joints, and you get some good motion there. You have a joint right in the middle there, which is covered up nicely as well. Squeaky works. Ooh, ooh, very tight to side to side. At the waist, you got another one. Then at the legs, can do about that much of a split. Not much of a kick. Can go back a little bit. You can see how the joint works in here. Kind of rotates back and forth. You got another joint here, I believe. It might be the same joint actually going across. Actually, I think it is. And then the knee gives you about that much range. The foot gives you that much of a wiggle. <laughs> so it's pretty, I mean, as you can tell, it, this guy is rather tight. You might want to take a little bit of heat to this one. Um, it's pretty tight. You got the same thing going on. With the tail and one joint two joints three joints four joints uh but rather tightly done there as well so i mean as long as it's not breaking tight i'm fine with that uh and i think again some heat might be necessary i'm probably gonna do that with this one taking a look at this classic ultraman character kaiju i like the gray it's a nice Deep, you know, gray. It's a good gray. It works really well. It's nicely done. Um, it's hard to tell if there's shading on it. I think there is a little bit of shading on it, but it's also... There's so many folds and wrinkles here that it's giving off natural 
you know, natural shading, which is actually good. So it give, it, whether or not it's there, it's giving the appearance to me that it is. So that's pretty good. There's so many folds and wrinkles. The sculpt is excellent. Excellent on this Black King. Um, really, really digging what they did here. Looks phenomenal. Yeah, I really like it. Toes and fingernails are done in gold. And those are done fairly well. Looks pretty good. So that's not bad. And then you got the gold on the spikes on his back. That looks good. And on the tail, that looks good. This tail is so awesomely sculpted. I love it. You never realize, I think, what a cool design this guy is. I don't know, I didn't at least. I always thought he was cool, but like, I don't know. because He's got like a doofy head. We'll get to that in a second. Um, so that kind of throws you off, but the body is so great. It's such a great looking kaiju. Love how the bottom of the tail looks. This is all armor plated nicely. Again, these uh, the spikes on this tail are so, so cool. So really well done. I love the back. A little washboard thing going on there. The arms have some like little bumps on them. Very nicely done. So does the legs. A lot of nice folds and wrinkles in the feet. So really nice throughout. Beautiful job here. And we'll go down to the head. First the neck actually. Looking pretty good as well. Lots of little... I like this. All these little holes. That's where uh, the actor would breathe and look through. That's pretty cool, pretty slick there, I dig that. Now looking at the head, looking at the ears, pretty nicely done. The eyes are pretty good. Orange, yellow. I like it, black around there, looks pretty cool. This is how you can tell this is like the more Showa era uh, one because the body types are pretty similar with the with the one that's been in this you know series recently in the RB. Um, so yeah, I mean that one has like completely red eyes, I believe, if I remember correctly. Big horn looks awesome, nice gold horn on the tip of his nose looks good in gold. The teeth in gold look great. The mouth inside looks really cool. Nice red and white. Can't tell which is the paint and which is the wash. I think the white is over that, yeah. Looks pretty good. It's got some gummage. Oh, I got one, I'd say one little excess red splotch on the gray. Yeah, you can see it better from there, yeah. That's the one spot so far that I've seen that's not so hot. And a little excess white there. Yeah, that's not the worst. You can't really tell from every angle. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it. And then, you know, the mouth, He this is where he gets really doofy when he looks from front. Uh, and he closes his mouth like that. But really, I think it's supposed to be like this from the series it, like it wants to go more this way but i think when he closes his mouth i think the teeth go on that side <laughs> either way it's silly he always looks better with his mouth open uh and looking at him from the sides uh is always a better angle um but overall i think this guy looks phenomenal i think the proportions look good i think they did a great job that's what you want to see from an exclusive um just a good job overall because they are a little more pricey so yeah this is why can't i get my camera straight that's not a problem it looks good is what i'm saying it looks really cool um so yeah great job there tamashi for your size comparisons here it is with the uh NECA godzilla monster of monsters version 2.0 the ymsf neo kong the mezco kong the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2019, and if, I mean, if you can't tell so far, this is a tall SHF uh, kaiju here. Getting into the Ultraman series, here he is with Spaceium Zepedian, Gamora, Pandone. Here it is with Ultraman Zoffy, getting blasted in the face. 
and finally getting his head chopped off by Ultraman Jack. Not 100% accurate, <laughs> but spoilers, that's what happens. And my final thoughts, I really like this piece. It's only got a couple of little small minor paint snafus on the face. Um, it doesn't come with any accessories and I haven't mentioned that till now. Um, I would have liked some like fire effects. I know he uh, breathes fire. Um, and that would have been cool. I just want to look at him more. Uh, oh, you want to see his back? His back is nice. Um, so yeah, I, I would have liked that, but mm, I don't know. I still like the figure. Uh, and the chances of me using it too much are slim. I'm not the biggest on effect parts. I'm appreciative when they come. I do realize that this figure costs more because it is an exclusive and it should have come with something and that would have been really cool. But at the same time, I like the figure so much, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? It looks really great. Um, so it does it for me. Uh, your mileage may vary on that part, but, and I can't blame you if you don't want to spend the money or if you're like grudgingly spending the money uh, despite it not having any effect parts. Um, you know, it is what it is, guys. Uh, sometimes these guys don't have effect parts. <laughs> uh, what can you do? Um, but I, I, yeah, if the figure is good, the figure is good, and the figure is good. So, there you go. That's my review, guys. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Buy me a coffee on Coffee if you dig what I do. And, and, and click that bell. I mean, not at Coffee, but here. Click the bell. To, be notified when my uh, videos go up and become a zillion today. Till next time, peace out peeps.